starts with a quote. Win and you become the child of heaven. Lose and you're merely a rebel. From Romance of the Three Kingdoms. Then the real question is, was Washington a terriest? Here we say terriest because of the YouTube algorithm. In your opinion, was the American rebellion justified? In your opinion, what is the difference between a, a terriest and a freedom fighter? Is it just body counts and inventive atrocities? Oh. It's time to switch me again. Every time I get disconnected, you have to switch me back to my place, to my rightful place, which is on top. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah there we go. We're back. Um, okay, so... I've never thought about this, but I would say no. What um, Darius, if we're, what's the difference between a freedom fighter and Darius? I guess it depends on whose side you're on. Yeah, I guess you know, like the uh, somebody is a. I'm just gonna say the word because I don't want to say Terrius. Can I say the word? Should I sure, be able to not? say the word? I'm gonna. Okay, okay. I guess the difference between being a terrorist or a freedom fighter is whether you agree with the person, with, with the movement. Wouldn't that, isn't that fair? Am I being so simplistic about it or am I being too biased about it? I think like that's, that's the only difference. Because technically, terrorism is any form of violence that is done uh, for political the, for the uh, for political gain for either for any ideological religious or political purposes any form any form of violence that is done for for the purpose of uh, politics ide uh, an ideology or religion would be terrorism right but that also is what freedom fighters are doing right so technically every freedom fighter is also a terrorist. The way the only difference is I feel that like that's it's simplistic. I know that's why I was asking. Is that being simplistic? I think the difference is whether you agree with the person or not, whether you think that the, the movement is justified or not. That's the only difference, isn't it? Not necessarily, I think to the extent that you target primarily targets civilians as a means to implement what you want to see not I really even not really you if you can if you target politicians or military officials they call that also terrorist attacks like if you if a bomb goes off and the only the only victims were i don't know military like a general or something if it wasn't oh here's the thing it also has to be not at a time of, oh, there we go. Actually, never mind. They're not terrorists, okay? Because if the same attack, if it happens during the time of war, it's, a ter it's not a terrorist attack. Do you know what I mean? It's, a, it's, a, it's just an act of war, right? So if it's happening during wartime, they don't consider terrorism. But if it's happening outside of wartime, they will, it's considered terrorism. Again, these are just semantics. So... We could probably say, no, they were not terrorists because at that time they were at war. It was officially a war, wasn't it? Do you, well, do you, you know, ideas? there's always a period where it's not a war yet. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so it's, I think it depends on when he entered the war, he entered the fight, okay? If Washington uh, was there when officially the war has not been declared, then during the time where the war has not been declared, he was a terrorist, okay? But if he joined the fight after it has the, it's been officially, like, you're like, yeah, this is war. Officially, this is war. So if Washington joined the fight when officially everybody recognized that this is war, then at no point he was a terrorist because it was happening during wartime. Um, Gaijin American is saying, how can you declare a war if your government is, Ill is illegal? Okay, so at one point, do we, recognize, do we recognize them as a government? Okay, because you're right. They didn't have any form. They weren't officially a government yet. So 
it would have all been okay. You're right. So at no, so yeah, Washington technically was a terrorist to the British. Okay, but but to us, he was a freedom fighter because we agree uh, with his fight. Does that make, that's my official position as of right now. Atheist Republic needs your help. We have been the target of many legal attacks by Hindu nationalists ever since our founder, Armin Avabi, blasphemed against Hindu deities. We have retained legal counsel to help us defend our access to our community in India. We have started a fundraiser that will help us afford to tackle many legal issues, including judicial harassment and censorship. Whatever you can contribute will go a long ways in helping us in this fight. Link in the description below.